welcome back to the channel. And on today, I'm going to start taking apart this pit bike and that jet ski to make the ultimate Bodie pit vehicle. Alright guys, so first things first, we're going to be working on the jet ski, which is a 1988 Sea-Doo. It's got a yellow top road tracks in it, which obviously I have no need for for this project. I picked this thing up about eight years ago, and we had some fun for a whole summer riding it around a farmer's pond. And then I broke it towards the end of the summer. It got put away in a buddy's warehouse, and ever since then, this is really where the idea for the boat car started, was that I wanted to do one of these jet ski scooters or jet ski motorcycles, whatever they are. They're not new, um, but like I said, I've always wanted to do one, and then when the boat car happened, now it's just illogical, like, I have to, I need a pit bike that's also a jet ski, so first things first. I actually picked up a scale and we're gonna try and weigh the scooter, the jet ski, all that stuff. So figure out what starting weights on them are. And then once we're everything together, I wanna see what a final weight is because I know there's gonna be questions on it. And personally, I wanna know myself. So let's get to it. All right, so I've got this strapped up. I've got the scale zeroed out and we're gonna see if this doesn't fall off. How much it weighs. It's free. That was an absolute mess, but it's out. And not to mention the ridiculous weather we're having in Pennsylvania right now. It's the first weekend of November and it's been 70 all weekend. And then it rained last night and the humidity is killer. So beginning of November and I'm sweating inside of this thing is pretty uh pretty gross pretty oily so i got some more stuff to take off from inside which i'll do that off camera and then probably tomorrow i'll end up pressure washing and making this thing at least a little nicer to work on so that is the progress here and once I get all this little stuff taken off, it's time to bring the scooter in. Quick update. Jet ski is all torn apart. I think this is pretty much all that's coming off of it until I start cutting. Got it hanging again. Got a little weight update. It is still dirty, greasy, made a mess. Not surprising. But what are we looking at at weight? 206.7 pounds. So we took off over 200 pounds in engine, jet drive, fuel tank, all that. So it's definitely helpful, but 
I mean, she's gonna be heavy when she's done. All right, guys, so I couldn't bring myself to tear this thing apart last night. We're having this weird warm streak, beginning of November. Today was 71. So I just had to ride this thing to work. I only picked it up three days ago. So weather was so nice. I just, I just had to enjoy it a little bit, but I wanted to show off the old pit bike at the moment. Say so I'm not a, not exactly a little guy. So 50s and that, the little pit bikes that are normal aren't really, uh, aren't really gonna work out. So I picked up this, I think it was a 2007 Yamaha Eliminator 125. And I'll show some pictures of how I got it. And then I did this about two years ago, pulled it apart, painted it, made a quick bobber out of it. But I just have to say this thing compared to the 250cc Wildfire, which is a Honda Helix clone, uh, the Wildfire is amazingly better. Just cruising on the way back and forth to work. Um, speedo says 80, but little phone GPS test, and I think it's about five mile an hour off up top. So this thing, uh, this thing will do 70, 75 if you're tucked and going downhill, whereas the uh, the old pit bike here will, uh, that one kind of tops out 60, 65, and you really got to work for it. But I just want to get these two together before I uh, ripped, ripped this one apart tonight and uh, start getting that jet ski body fitted over it. And then I'm sure another project is going to be uh, trying to figure out a similar mount Kind of how I have the, the motorcycle mounted to the uh, front of the motorhome. That'll be a future episode because my trailer space is uh, maxed out with the boat. So I got to figure out how to get the jet ski to the track too. But we'll get this thing pulled inside, pulled apart, and uh, start mocking up that jet ski body tonight. All right, guys. So Scooter is in the garage, and I think I've got it figured out. I think I've got it uh, strapped up enough that we can get this lifted and uh, see how heavy this is so that we can get a start. And as you can see, it's zeroed out. And and there we are. Off. Not touching. <clears throat> Fully hanging. What do we got? 361.6. And that's with about half a gallon of gas in it. So that gives us a start. So the scooter is actually lighter than the jet ski to start. So. Here's hoping that it uh, doesn't gain too much weight once I take these body panels off and put the jet ski on. torn apart. Real test. Does it start? Gauges work. All oh, that's good. Everything works. Still going. All right, guys, so I got this thing stripped down more than when that time lapse ended. 
I actually got all of the uh, steering. There was a whole bracket off of the front here, which was super handy. That comes off in one piece. That's what the uh, little tiny radiator mounts to. I think I've got a bigger fan on my computer. But where that was sitting, that wasn't going to clear the jet ski body. So I'm going to leave it loose for now. And then we're going to see how it fits, where I can make new brackets for it. But for right now, we're going back to getting this zeroed. And I want to find this new weight. All right, shifted around and adjusted. Hanging. Everything, nothing's touching. And we are at 270 pounds. So, considering 270 plus the just over 200 pounds on the jet ski body, we're looking at 470, which is about 100 pounds more than what the scooter originally had. So, I don't feel too terrible about that. I wanna see if uh, we can make that one come down a little bit, but if we can keep it close to 400, I would be super happy. All right guys, so I'm gonna close out the video here. I got a ton of progress done. I really wanted to get the body sitting over top of the frame tonight, but it's just getting too late to continue cutting. And, We've got all these body panels off the jet ski and it's sitting and everything looks like it's going to line up pretty well. Kind of just want to leave you guys, at least for this episode, with this visualization and I'm super stoked on how it's all coming out. Everything looks like it's going to line up pretty well. I'm only going to have to do minimal cutting and, you know, new brackets. So, for now, like, comment, subscribe. Next video, we'll actually be cutting the boat up and getting it on top of the uh, motorcycle, or get the boat on top of the uh, scooter frame. And we should probably have it ru uh, running by the end of that one, you know, kind of all together. So... Till next time, this is your captain, out.